Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, this is right after the live stream I did today, just right after it. And funny, um, just as soon as I quit the live stream, it stopped raining. So I'm going to do a, a walk around here. I'm always a little nervous about the pond. As you can see, there's a quite a bit of water uh, flowing down from here. All the, this neighbor's property uh, drains and goes into the pond and it comes both ways comes down from that way and it comes down from that way and it's a it's a pretty good little bit of water this is all grown grown over right now so you can't uh, see down in there but we're going to go around the corner here and see what we've got going on Maybe you can hear that. I don't know if you can or not, but it's flowing into this pond pretty good. And it's always something that I like to keep track of. Because with the way this pond is right now, I just don't want it overtopping. Uh, we could lose, if it gets really bad, we could lose the whole dam. So I just want to make sure that this uh, spillway is not clogged and that it's uh, draining. And it's not clogged and it is draining. It's probably could be cleared out a bit. Because I can see the level of the water on the pond side is a few inches higher than the other side here so let's clear out a little bit of this vegetation like so just increase the flow just a bit because you never know when it's going to start just absolutely pouring here again So as you can see right there, we're about three inches from it overtopping the side of the pond right there. I mean, the water I'm standing in in the spillway is several inches deep. And as a secondary, there's a little pipe that you can't see at the moment that is also draining. That's this here. That's a lot of water coming out. And I'm sure there's some fish going down it. I can't remember if I'd ever put a screen over it or not. But as you can see, it is actually overtopping the dam here. Now, it's got vegetation on it. So it's not eroding, not yet anyway, but uh, it's just something that, you know, I'm not real comfortable with, but it, it really poured here for about an hour. I mean, it really poured down. And having the water over top here just makes me nervous. That's why I wanted to come down here and check it. Because that water out there, right now, is an easy seven feet deep right out in there. And it's, I don't know, 50, 60 feet wide and 100 feet long, so that's a lot of water. And if it ever began to cut here, I don't even want to think about what it'd do to all those fields down there if this dam failed. I hope there's a screen over that net, over that, because there's a there's an elbow here that is so far down into the water I can't see it at the moment. I'm almost sure that I had a screen over it, but I'm not 100% sure. If not, we're losing fish. 
and they're all they're all heading downstream. Yeah, at some point we're gonna raise up this bank here, this dam, and uh, make this mo better. So we've not only got water coming in from that end, we've got water coming in here. This is the this is the drain and runoff from our property up there. This property isn't flat, so when you get a heavy rain, that water heads downhill, and the place it goes, most of it is into that pond. You need a lot of water going into it. You have to have a lot of water going out of it. See what we got going on here. So that's the water draining out. That's that's a pretty good flow right there. And that's all heading down through the fields. Again, you just can't get dried out. Can't catch a break with this rain. <clears throat> if the rain stopped flowing into those fields right now, it would take two, two days for it to fully drain. What did Tatai do? It's not my mulberry. No, that's not the mulberry tree. I was almost going to be mad there for a minute. That's the mulberry tree right there. I don't know what this other tree was, but he he chopped it down. It's the deluge. Slippy, slippy. Even with all this water, you can see it flowing through there. Uh, at least we've got a high, high parts out in field three now. So that it can properly drain. Yeah, that's quite a bit of water coming through there. Well, at least it stopped. I wanted to see while I was down here if any of that corn trying to find its way through that plastic. I'm going to take you up here and show you this um, the diversion ditch that we dug. I can hear the water running in it from here. So I'm curious as well as to exactly how much is going down through it. A lot. It's all grown over, but the ditch itself is full. I 
That's a foot deep right there. I'm just moving right on along. That's a nice little stand of corn right there. Yeah, look at look at field six here. I mean, just this rain is something else. The beans are coming up through the plastic. We planted. I don't know, almost two rows of beans here. And look at that corn. Get off of there, great oak. Go on. Go on. It's come up through almost every one of those holes. Look at that. I would call that a success. Sorry it's jerking around there, but I'm holding it with one hand. But again, look at this water coming down through here. It's having a hard time getting out of this field. It's only got a four inch pipe down here at the bottom. So there's more coming in than can go out. This okra is getting drowned. not loving life either. This is actually knee deep. Just about to overtop. Keep on flowing, water. And it's clear, too. No obstruction. I'm going to have to get down here with a shovel in the near future and add a bit more dirt right along in there. Well, it wouldn't be a catastrophe if we lost some little part of this dam here. It's just that much more work to put it back. That's the diversion canal we dug right there. That's what's draining right there. That's a lot of water too. Ah, well, at least it stopped raining. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.